Crayons Mobile ArcGIS Map Viewer on Android application. Here we have a standard Verizon Android smartphone. We're going to go into a mapping application created by Freons Mobile. We're going to zoom in a little bit and show you the functionality here. You can see as we start to drill down, uh, layers automatically come up with symbology. Let's go ahead and bring up the layer command and add a couple more uh, layers to this. This is a standard ESRI. Electric distribution model that is on an ArcGIS server. And you can see layers coming up, symbology. Maybe we want to identify on some features at this location. We bring them up, we page through them. Go ahead and click on one, see the information there. Let's go ahead and go back to our map. Maybe let's uh, bring up aerial photos. Let's also, uh, while we're waiting for those aerials to come up, show that we can also go ahead and uh, search on the map. Transformer meter search. Searches are created by the system administrator, which we'll show in a moment, so that prompts come up that best fit how the end user needs to use the application. Here we have searching, identifying, we can zoom to our GPS location. We're indoors here, so that's not going to uh, immediately locate us. We have other tools here. Let's also show you how administratively the applications manage because this is a application that you build in-house. We're going to zoom out here a little bit to a web browser. Actually on a droid tablet. We'll try to keep things in the family here. And this is the web-based administration software. Maybe a little tough to see, but I think we'll get the, the flavor of how this works. We're going to come in here to uh, our map configuration software. And this is the server-side application that lets us manage these applications. We'll come into our tool here and you can see we have layer control and searches and identifies and let's go ahead and turn on the geocoding now. Let's enable the geocoding and we'll even come in here and say hey we want to zoom to a thousand feet There we go. We'll go ahead and apply that. And uh, let's go back to our Android again. We made a change that quickly in our administration software. And we'll go back into the Android here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get back to a smaller real estate there. And let's, uh, let's go back into this map and quickly reload it and then come back into uh, that electric distribution map. There's a security login that Freons has. And we'll go into the electric system map. And notice now when I do a search, now all of a sudden we have a find address and there's my geocoding. So that quickly I can modify my application. Now, not only do we have this application in Android, but 
one of the real beauties of Freon's mobile here is we also have this same application on the other smartphone platforms. Here's an iPhone. Same features, controls. Same searches. Now, not only do we have the iPhones covered, but we also have, of course, what France has always been known for is the only one to be able to start to put ArcGIS server on all the different BlackBerry platforms. So here's a BlackBerry newer torch and we've got the same features controls because it's a BlackBerry we've got a little different look and feel here but let's go in and uh, even edit a layer let's add a a uh, electric pole zoom in a little more here And we can even start editing features with Freon's mobile on the different smartphone platforms. So let's go ahead and with our cursor or our GPS, let's go ahead and add a pole over here to the uh, corner of this lot. And these are the actual attributes that come up that the system administrator decides on. Now this doesn't edit every layer, doesn't every edit every attribute, it's set up so that the system administrator can decide what layers we want to edit and what attributes we want to edit. all depending on how I want this program to work. Le writing live to ArcGIS SDE data right to ArcGIS Server 10 Freon's mobile ArcGIS Server on iPhones, Androids, and Blackberries.